How have you seen a person rebuild their life in a single day? There was this kid at my high school. He had no friends. Never talked to anyone. But everyone knew who he was because he read the announcements over the PA system each morning. On his last day. He made a short. But incredibly moving speech looking back on what his high school experience meant to him. His successes. Failures. And lessons learned. And dreams for the future. Though he had some of the highest grades. He said that his one regret was that he never made any friends. Everyone was touched by his speech. It was honestly beautiful. That day he made a ton of friends. Including myself. He was a super intelligent and funny person. And very interesting to talk to. I went to the same college as him. And you'd never know he was that nerdy kid with no friends in high school. He had a big social circle. And still got good grades. An overall well rounded person and super cool guy. My mom is 10 years sober today. I remember her opening another beer. Taking one sip. Putting it down and saying I'm done. She checked herself into rehab the next day. My dad joined about 3 months later. Both are completely different people. And I can't imagine our relationship being what it is today if they continued to drink. My mom went to inpatient rehab for her alcoholism three times. Failed out every time. She was drinking like. A liter of vodka a day. For at least a decade. She had to do supervised detoxes at the hospital every time or she would have died. One day I got an email from my dad saying mom had been a few months sober after randomly stopping one day. She's still sober four years later. My dad still keeps a few beers stashed away because I think he's still afraid of her detoxing or something. I let a guy go two years ago. He was a great salesman but very hard to work with and bad for the team. I met him at a fundraiser a couple weeks ago. And he told me that day he got let go. He found some Indian website spammers. Offered to sell their services for half the revenue. And his company selling outsourced IT services has since then made him richer than anyone he used to work for. He said that with his skill set he could have survived in any situation. But was too scared and too brainwashed to leave the safety of a big corporation. I'm probably in the same boat. My ex GF sister was a bit overweight and a bit self conscious about it and quite shyish. However. Also a great fun person. Anyway. I remember one day. She just has some sort of epiphany. She decided. She is going to hang out with some people she met at the local university she met. And she did. And she went out more and more and had a lot of fun and really really changed her attitude and her social activities. She dated. Married and has two kids with one of those friends. And is today just as great a person as she was before. But not kind of lonely or shy anymore. Now is that rebuilding? I don't know. It was a person who decided I know what I want. I think I'll go and get it and she really did. My brother. Was always getting in fights at school. Fort teacher even knocked out a cop once who was pushing his buttons. Stealing. Skipping school. Racing and just reckless. I hated him and everyone thought he'd he in jail for sure and dead a little after. Got a girl pregnant. Immediately stepped up married her a few years later after he made sure he loved her. House. 70 kish job. Sis in law good job. Second kid. Little to no debt and I like being around him now. Not rebuild their life. But my mother had a significant positive change in a single day. When I was around 7 years old. My mother was diagnosed with manic depression. Now commonly known as bipolar disorder. She was extremely depressed and angry and suicidal. It got to the point where my brother and I were sent to live with my aunt while my father took care of her. During that time. She tried different antidepressants. Admitted herself to an asylum. And tried a lot of things like prayer. It was getting frustrating for her and my father. One day. She woke up and said she was better. It literally was a Christmas miracle. My brother and I returned home and life resumed as normal. Although life wasn't perfect. We had the challenges typical families go through. We did not experience the traumatic things she used to do when she was in her manic or depressed state. 
Obligatory not in a single day. Double quote. But it was me. I attempted suicide just three short years ago. Instead I survived. Went through intense therapy. Stopped drinking heavily. Rebuilt friendships and bridges that I thought were forever burned. Went back to school. And I'm now soon to be graduating in a field I'm in love with. Possibly with honors. You know. A part of me thinks I'd die that day. And I'm now just living out some dying fantasy. Things are going too perfectly for this to be real. My cousin was a total douche who one day tapped out of that life. Donated all his Ed Hardy to Goodwill. Shampooed every last glob out gel out of his hair and removed all the shirtless pics from his personal ad. He ended up getting a dinner date later that night and instead of acting the big shot. He treated the waiter with respect. His date was both impressed and independently wealthy and now my cousin is set for life. I did. I found proof my ex was cheating. Later that day I booked a ticket to Nashville to hang out with two of my best friends. My ex never allowed me to travel or do anything by myself. So this was huge. When he got home from work that night I told him I was leaving him and going out of town. I left in the morning feeling better than I had in years. Had an awesome time with my friends. Came back packed my stuff moved out. Found a better job. Bought my own car, wasn't allowed to have one, and then bought my own house. Adopted way too many pets. Met my now fiancé. Got on the depression and anxiety meds I should have started years ago and life is pretty damn good. All because I saw my ex's intern's boobs on his phone and booked that ticket. When I was in my late 20s I walked into an army recruitment office and said I'm in my 20s. I've been living in my car for the last month and I haven't eaten in two days and I'm completely ashamed of all of this. The recruiter took me to a diner for lunch. Made a few phone calls and for two days I slept on a bed in an abandoned office at an army reserve center in our city. Then I was on a plane for Fort Benning, Georgia. That one day changed my life and now. Almost 20 years later. I'm married with kids. I have a college degree in a STEM field. I own a house and I'm completely debt free. And I have some incredible stories from my time in the army as well as the time before I joined. Most of the stuff that happened afterwards is pretty mundane and boring. And I'm glad of that. Earlier this year. My son was unceremoniously dumped by a long term girlfriend who cheated on him. The whole situation just obliterated him. Further complicating things is a tight rental market. Which meant he had to stay with my daughter for a month while he tried to find a place to live. But find a place he did. And it was pet friendly. So he got to take his pets with him. The day he moved in. He was like a brand new person. He'd had some time to deal with the heartbreak. And in the meantime had taken a second part time job, on top of his regular job, that lets him use his musical talent. Moving day was a great day for him. But it was also a great day for me. Because it was something I couldn't have imagined in those awful days immediately following the breakup. For years. My sister had a super toxic friendship with a girl that epitomized narcissistic and manipulative behavior. My sister was constantly down on herself. Exhausted from taking care of her. And feeling depressed because she felt like she was a failure of a friend. Then one day. After a phone call she slammed down the phone and said fuck it. I'm done with her. I swear I saw weight sliding down her shoulders and shackles falling off of her. She's just so much better off now. Don't stick with friendships just because you've known each other for a long time. Kicked my ex out of my apartment. Packed my own stuff the same day and moved back home until I could move again. In just 3 hours I went from feeling hopeless and afraid to being in a safe place with constant security. Two big dogs. At least two people awake at all times. And he didn't know where it was. Close bracket. I left an old ex who was worthless. He had no job and I supported us both. Plus his son from a previous relationship. With my entry level job after graduating college. We were in a 30 year old trailer with dilapidated floors and no air conditioning in the south. He would spend whatever money he got on cigarettes and weed. And it wasn't above him to steal money from his 7 year old's piggy bank for cigarettes. My self confidence was in the dumps. 
and I put up with this behavior for some crazy reason for a few years. One day I confided in my best friend that I wanted to leave him. But was scared because I didn't have anywhere to go. She showed up 30 minutes later and helped me pack all my things and let me move in with her for $100 rent. I got a new job 2 weeks later that put me on my current career path. Met my now husband soon after that. And now I'm married with 2 kids. A house owner. And have my professional certifications. I credit nearly everything I have today to my friend and that one day that she refused to let me hesitate on making the best decision I needed to make. I'm not a druggie. An alcoholic. Or anything like that but I used to be someone who would judge and assume mountains of things about people and would bash people online for the stupidest of things. I decided I wanted to turn myself around by making a new account to counteract all of the negativity I brought up. That day was the start of a complete change in who I was. Once a drama starting. Ignorant asshole to someone who's been called an inspiration by many and is trying to show others that acting the way I used to isn't going to get you anywhere. Hope this is enough to satisfy you. My brother. I am aware that to most people. Weed is basically harmless. But it wasn't to him. Due to different personal reasons. Weed became an escape for him around the age of 13-14. I think he went into a depression around the same time. He didn't enjoy anything. And seemed to not care about any of us. He became extremely anti-authority and would seemingly do everything he could to disrespect our parents. He was addicted. He smelled like weed 24 stroke 7. After a few years. He was grey in the face. He looked tired all the time. He became very aggressive. And he was never home. He just wasn't himself anymore. A couple months after he turned 17. He came home. He sat down with our mum and said I found a place. I think I should go there. He presented her with a place for troubled young people. It was a live in place with access to counsellors. And every resident got a personal advisor. He now has a wonderful girlfriend. A stable economy and they just had their first daughter. He's gonna ask her to marry him soon. I recently asked him. Just out of curiosity. What made him think about treatment? And he told me that the last few times he'd smoked he'd found himself becoming extremely paranoid. And that made him consider how else it was changing him. I'm insanely proud of him. And it just feels good to have my big bro back. The day I deleted my Facebook profile was a huwuhuwuge step out of the dark. I was inundated with bad news from around the world and losing respect for even my closest friends because it was 2016 and you couldn't hit the space bar without running face first into something political. I started to hate the people my friends were on Facebook even though I knew they were so much more than that in person. Leaving Facebook stripped an unbelievable amount of negativity from my life and allowed me to be much happier in the world around me. With my friends. And in general. Similarly. A friend of mine just stopped drinking one day. He had to do some medical treatment for DTs but he managed to just quit cold turkey and his life has gone off like a rocket. Self-improvement story here. I quit my oppressive boring job that was literally eating me from the inside out and got a new job within 24 hours. Totally new career. New outlook on life. And the people I work with now don't feel like they have been sucked dry by what they do with their day. Instead it seems to fill them up and even when it is tiring we are all working as a team and we hold each other up through the tough bits. A job isn't everything in life but when you get up in the morning and you don't feel like your job is killing you it really helps set a better tone for life. My parents both quit smoking cold turkey back in 1980. They were three pack a day smokers. Each. My mom had gone to the doctor and gotten a lung x-ray that showed a spot that the DR thought was lung cancer. They had to do a further test to determine if it was. They quit that night and according to them they never smoked another cigarette. My they are now in their 80s and play tennis 3 or 4 times a week and are in great health. Turns out the lung spot wasn't cancer and it had cleared up the next time they went to the DR. I always wondered if that DR had an old x-ray that he kept around just to show heavy smokers to scare them into quitting. If so. I want to thank that doctor. Not exactly in a day. But in a matter of days. 
my old Dutch teacher's husband committed suicide. She was crying the whole hour during our lesson about it. She was devastated. She didn't eat cheese for 50 years because her husband wouldn't eat it. It was heartbreaking hearing and seeing her talk about him. You could see in her eyes how much she loved him. She came back to school one week later. She said pretty encouraging stuff like maybe I'll start eating a bit of cheese. A little by little. Making baby steps and stuff like that. I've never met a stronger person than her. My cousin. While a good lad in heart. He has been troubled for some time. Dropped out of high school. Started drinking and was hanging out with the wrong crowd. Since his parents refused to support such lifestyle he went on and found the most basic manual job he could get. Something like bricklayer, or more like bricklayer bitch. Something where he could show up late and drunk. One day. For no apparent reason he had enough. So he walked up to the boss of his boss and asked whether there is a position with more responsibility. And there was. He transitioned to some other position at the building site and in about a month he was running his crew. Found new house and moved out from parents. Found great grill friend. Still drinks but only occasionally and does not get wasted. Managed to save his relationship with parents. Moved up even more in the company. Now he is in charge of choosing which crew gets to go to which building site. Took up Mortgie and he is looking to buy a house. Still with the same girl. There is a talk of having kids. The whole package. Really glad for him. And to think that this was mainly due to him completely without any consideration walking up to his boss to ask for another job. I was in a terribly destructive relationship. Nothing actually violent. But it was so poisonous it was just grinding me down. Bit by bit. It really wasn't healthy for him either. I was only 21 as well and this was my first real relationship. We'd been together for 3 years and I'd moved about 1800 kilometers away from my family and friends to be with him. And X200B. I tried breaking up once. He threatened suicide. I stayed a couple of months longer. But in secret. I looked for a new apartment. Once everything was done and I had the key. A friend came with me and I told him. Then I left. The first few nights in my new apartment all my possessions were an inflatable mattress and for some reason an armchair. A blanket and a single lamp. I eventually got my stuff from the other apartment. Further on. We actually even became more or less friends again. I remember the terrifying freedom of oh shit. I'm actually completely on my own for the first time ever though. Taking a leap of faith with no idea what would happen. Exhilarating. It felt as if I was alive for the first time in more than a year. It wasn't really just a single day but a moment that really changed my life for the better. My family was destroyed BC my father mismanaged a lot of our family's finance. We lost our home and my mom and I moved to a small apartment while my brother went to college. I was working at a crappy job. No benefits with less than 20k gross salary a year. My mom and I were struggling to just feed ourselves and I was trying to drink my depression away. Then a close friend suddenly passed away and I was at his funeral. I said my final goodbyes and realized life really is too short. I found the courage to finally confess my feelings to the person whom later I married. I worked to get a better job. Became debt free and we are happily expecting our first child. Once you really let go all your hang ups and allow yourself to be vulnerable. Good things can and do happen. That point was really the point of no return for me in the best way. Not completely. But the first step. Six years ago I told my mom that she was dead to me. My kid was getting old enough that she had real memories and I couldn't let her experience what I had. With the constant promises to quit broken. Also. She got sicker and sicker every month. And she would do nothing to actually take care of her health. I had tried everything I could think of. I offered to pay for her to go back to school. Pay for rehab. Therapy. Whatever will actually help. And it wasn't enough. Six years of trying up until that day and I just couldn't fix it. I felt like a terrible person for abandoning her. But I couldn't do that to my kid. I fully expected a call that she was actually dead in the next six months. She's sitting on the couch across the room. She's stumbled at times. 
but it's not the same and she's mostly worked out her boundaries on what she can and can't do. Alcohol wise. She'll never be the person she was. But she's worked her ass off to change and to be a person worth my trust. I'm sure many people have the same stories but I figured I'll share mine. A year ago I thought I looked awful. Was overweight. And thought everyone was out to get me. I went to the doctors and after he told me I was obese. I knew I needed to make a change. I watched videos on YouTube on workouts and found a fitness trainer who prioritized anime workouts named Jack's Blade. This dude helped me so much with food planning and getting the motivation to work out. Within a few months. My happiness with my body started to allow me to be in a better mental state and learn that my friends were always there for me. Now I'm the lowest weight I've ever been and the happiest. Doing better in school and loving my friends more than ever. All due to a doctor's visit and a yautaba. I somehow graduated from a great high school with no knowledge in my head. I failed every test at a community college and had to start over from literally elementary math, English, and science. While at the college, I had my high school friends with me too. We partied a lot. Cut class. Did anything beside get educated. Anyways I was passing my English classes. Doing okay in science and just bombing elementary math. I noticed that he reason I did poorly in high school and now in college and especially I. My math class was because my idiot friends were in it. Anyways I took the math class over again next semester but without my friend. I passed and moved on to algebra. I never applied myself this much jo this hard but I found studying fun. Anyways. I moved up the classes and got out of community college and transferred to a 4 year. My friends were left behind. Sadly we lost contact. But last I heard they were still there. Now years later. I think they all majored in things that didn't require math. I had 5 surgeries in a year followed by a possible mini stroke. Worked so much I wasn't really home a lot and when I was home was too tired to really interact with my wife or newborn. Usually got called in on days off and got so bad I'd have a panic attack when my phone rang. Was hooked on hydrocodone because my abdomen hurt from the surgeries and the doc said I need to distress my life for there won't be much longer to it. I was 33 at the time. One day my boss is doing a walkthrough with me and asked if I really wanted to do this job and that I needed to commit to it and work harder and really put in the hours and effort. I told her actually I don't think I do, which surprised the crap out of her, and I wanted to step down. Going home that day was like a giant weight was lifted off of me. I'm back in school spend lots of time with the fam and within a week of stepping down all the pain dissipated and I kicked off the codone like nothing. A year later I view that as the day that saved my life. I mean I rebuilt my life but it wasn't that bad all things considered. I was struggling with my depression and had attempted to OD on sleeping pills a couple times. My parents had no clue how truly unhappy I was. A manipulative ex of mine got pregnant like a month at most after we started dating. There was a lot of manipulation. I'm cutting 90% of all the shti down for the sake of fitting it here. But I found out in recent light it wasn't mine even and she was just looking for someone to take care of her kid and support her financially. But she aborted the child after realizing I wasn't gonna work my ass off for her to sit at home. That hurt the hardest at the time and it wasn't until 5 months later I realized I need to change my life or I'd be dead within the year. Moved out of that town to a bigger city. Spent 2 years in college and now I have an amazing girlfriend. A great career not just a job that I love. And we just signed the papers for our own house. And none of it would have happened if I didn't decide to move 800 kilometers away to make the biggest change in my life. Still don't have many friends but that's a small price to pay to be alive. I'm not going to say rebuild. But at least get it going again. My brother was a dabbling artist and worked a medic job to actually be able to live and all that stuff we gotta do. He'd paint when he could but it probably wasn't as often as he'd like. I guess he ended up not being on time to work one too many times and got fired. So he just spent all his time creating and he started selling things like crazy. Plus no job meant he could book any weekend for a gallery show and not have to worry about another schedule in the way. Some of his works go for 5k dollars and to him he gets to just create and make money from it. 
He draws. Paints. And travels around to art shows to sell things. He seems extremely happy. So the day he got fired years ago was the day he finally got to start living the life he wanted to live. I spent the first 18 years of my life stuck abusive parents. They came back from holiday. Mother decided that I either could pay her you acute 210 a month, I was on UC, or find somewhere else to live. I walked upstairs. Decided it was the last straw. Messaged a close friend that I needed a place to stay. He asked his parents. Who knew me quite well. And what my situation was and agreed. Packed a small bag that night. Asked if I could go out to meet a friend. Left for my friend's house. His mother answered the door. And welcomed me in. I sent a text to my abusive BTCH of a mother saying I was moving out. 24 hours later I had all my stuff moved in. That was 3 years ago. The 31st of May. Everything has changed for me. For the better. I swear. Before then. I never truly felt so damn happy that I pretty much danced down the street. I am so damn grateful for what they've done for me. Honestly I'd say myself. I tried to commit suicide just over a year ago and I found myself in desperate need of change. Not just help for my mental health. But just my environment. I started working extra hours in the hopes of moving out. I started meditating. I started taking walks just to experience nature and see something new every day. My life has completely changed since then. I found myself with my hair down everywhere I went. Now my eyes are glued to the sky hoping to find something new. I'm still depressed. But I haven't had thoughts of suicide in months and I haven't acted on any of my impulses either. I'm genuinely a much happier and bright individual. Yep. Had a friend from college find out his fiancée was cheating on him. I got a call at around noon from him telling me he was gonna bail for a bit to clear his head and would probably be back in a few weeks. Booked a flight to Hawaii and was in the sky before the sun set. Two weeks later I got an email asking me if I wanted any of his stuff then I should contact his ex fiancé because he wasn't coming back. He'd moved into his new apartment earlier that day. A few years later he moved to Europe. Then Australia and then we lost touch. I haven't heard from him since. In retrospect I don't doubt that he had this set in his mind already. Whether he knew she was cheating and had time to think about what he was going to do or whether he'd just never wanted to be living here to begin with and she was the only thing tethering him. A friend of mine in secondary school started dating this guy about halfway through the year we were meant to have GCSEs, really important exams. He was super emo but also really bright and had good grades. She was a theater girl and struggled academically. She used to spend most of her free time with him or on the phone talking about his depression, not judging, and started spending less and less time with us or studying. Her grades fall. Downward spiral. First exam rolls around and she's a piece of work. Absolutely convinced she's going to fail and plans to go home without sitting it and start looking for a job. Had called a taxi and everything. A mutual friend tells her very sternly that she's going to sit the effing exam and every single one after that. And that it was going to suck. But she was going to do it anyway. She sat them all. Did well enough to get into 6th form, next level of academia. Passed A levels. Went to university. Is sitting her first year exams right now. Is in a much healthier relationship with a different guy now. Perhaps not the starkest turnaround. But if she hadn't sat that first exam, English language pass required for pretty much any job, I'm 100% sure she wouldn't be where she is today. I feel as though I rebuilt my own life in a day. Unfortunately it started by me cutting my arm open a bunch and finding myself in a mental hospital for two weeks. The month after that was also shit. But I was in an intensive outpatient program with lots of support. Then one day it hit me. I was walking home from session and the sun just felt so warm on my skin. The leaves were just so green. And breathing in the air just felt amazing. I realize. Holy shit. It is worth living. I don't know how to describe it. I just had this feeling wash over me that everything was going to be okay. I went from rock bottom constantly thinking about killing myself to appreciating what I have and what was to come. 
I'm so glad I didn't end it when I wanted to. My life is so good now. I have an amazing boyfriend. I'm getting a degree in something I love. And I have a job lined up for when I graduate. When I think about it. That day that changed everything probably isn't as magical as I'll lead everyone to believe. I think it was a culmination of a lot of hard work and small decisions made over the course of a few months. If you're in a similar position as I was. It seriously does get better. I know that's the worst thing to hear when you're down. But just keep on living. One day might change it all for you. Close friend was addicted to drugs and alcohol. Had his first kid but BM wouldn't let him see her. Kicked out of his house by his parents. And was labeled a creep by a lot of ladies on social media when one of them finally publicly called him out and all the others who he would message at 3am while drunk and coked out called him out on it. Posting the non-stop messages. Then one day bam. Stopped drinking. Stopped doing drugs. Stopped missing work. It was so sudden and out of nowhere. And he hasn't drank a beer or done anything bad since. He is going to try and get visitation rights for his kid. And has a place to live that he is slowly fixing up. I see him here and there. But we just go out to eat. Crazy how quickly he changed. I thought he was long gone.